Well, I bought me some spark plugs. It's time to start fixing this old 427. Got all the old ones out and they are black and sooty. That's what you call shorted spark plugs. No wonder they didn't it didn't fire. I never looked at the spark plugs in this thing since I got it in 95 and that's how old they were then. But unfortunately, the spark plug wires are all rotten and half of them ripped in half, so I gotta change those two. But anyways, after I'm done putting those in, I'm gonna have to get the starter motor out and see what's wrong with it and then find the wiring problem. What a piece of shit. And I found out how the mice are getting in. So one little hole right there. They're climbing up all this wiring and the hole's all polished clean so I know that's where they're coming in. And the other place, above the motor where the throttle cable goes in. It's all polished clean and so is the cable. That's big enough for a mouse. And as to date, in the last three weeks, I've caught 12 mice in here. But none in the last week. Guess I got them all. Well, now I got the starter motor out of this beast. So I'll take it home and take it apart and fix it. Well, changing the spark plugs on this pig. A bunch of them ripped in half because of the old rubber. So I always save my old spark plug wires from other vehicles tune up, so now I've got to replace a few. Well, the starter in this thing was in such bad, burned out condition, I couldn't repair it myself. So, I took it to the local rebuilder shop called Myron and paid $130 to get this thing fixed properly. So now I gotta put it back in in this freezing, icy weather. There, you can barely see where it goes. You can see the flywheel through the hole where I took it out. But I gotta crawl underneath this thing and there's not much room. Well, now I'm under this thing. Oh man. Well, there's where she goes. What a pain in the ass. This wind is just blasting under here coming off all that snow. Well, we got to get her done. Well, she's in. Oh. Well, just like I suspected. This motor was too clean and all painted blue. It's a rebuilt motor. The date is the 28th, 10th month of 1993 and I bought it in 1995. So it was only used for two years after it was rebuilt. And it was done by Renko Automotive. Cool. It says uh, 427, 10 thou over mains, and 20 thou over bores. And 10 thou over connecting rods. Oh man. Well, now I just got to find that electrical problem that probably the mice gave me when they, they died last time. They probably chewed the wires. Ugh, what a job. And I got my best battery to do the trick. If they can start the Ford truck, should be able to start this thing. Well, I found the problem with the dead circuit in the vehicle. Underneath the back of the ignition switch was a loose connector, the main plug on it. I just wiggled it and things came back to life. I heard the beeping and the headlights turned on. And So, I haven't tried to crank it, I haven't tried to start it. Let's see what's going to happen. Yep. There's gas coming in. Yeah. 
close all this work on such a cold day. So let's hope for good things on Good Friday. like a kitten. Not even any choke. It's minus three degrees out. I wonder how many mice are down in that ventilation hole. But at least there's no blow by coming out of it. Can't really take her for a cruise. Subaru's in the way, and the March sun has made my ground mushy. But anyways, I'll uh, put her in gear and see if she moves a little. Almost no smoke too. We've got the stereo sound effects now. I guess you can call this Good Friday after all. Oh my god, even the horns work, amazing! This thing's a rockin'! No, my attack don't work. Idle sticks. Stuck in the mud. Oh well, she wants to move. Sweet. Sweet. No mouse. No mice. 
No mice were harmed in making this video. Gotta love your Chevy.